Good afternoon to you. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for June 1st, 2014, the first day of the Atlantic hurricane season. What do we expect this time of year normally during the first 10 days of June here? This is a points of origin climatological map that shows all the different points of origins for tropical storms and hurricanes over the past uh, roughly 100 years or so. And you see that the southwest Atlantic Basin here is the most active, and that is specifically the northwest Caribbean Sea, a few development areas here in the Gulf of Mexico, and three more of them here just off the coast of Florida, extending into the Bahamas. The eastern Pacific is the more active area with several more developments over the past hundred years than we have seen in the Atlantic Basin. So this area more active this time of year than is this region and that's why the hurricane season kind of starts off slow uh, if you know that particular graph where the hurricane season begins slow then it ramps up towards a peak in september comes down again with another peak in october and then it tails off again into november we are way over here on the flat side of the graph uh, in early parts of june so this is generally what to expect this time of year most of the climatologically favored areas would be something like this in the first part of June. And as we expand through the um, July, August time frame, things start to get more interesting out into the Atlantic Ocean. And then by September, all the way out to the coast of Africa, through the subtropics, pretty much the entire Atlantic Basin becomes favorable on a general basis. The water temperatures, the atmosphere calming down instability where it should be to allow for upward motion in the atmosphere. All of those things take time, and that's why the hurricane season starts off relatively slow in terms of the overall amount of activity that we see this time of year. So what's happening on this first day of the season? Well, we have an area of interest in the Atlantic Basin, but a more interesting area, I guess you could say, in the Pacific Ocean. We have this area High potential of development, 70% over the next 48 hours, 90% over the next five days, right here just to the south of the Gulf of Tehuantepec, southeast Mexico, off the coast of parts of Central America. And the main thing that I want to highlight here is the expectation of very heavy rainfall over this region over the next several days as this system sits there and doesn't move very fast. And we'll take a look at a satellite picture in just a moment. That extends into the Atlantic Basin. There's basically this trough of low pressure, uh, almost like a grapevine, and these two little systems are kind of like grapes that form along that vine, as a, one way to look at it, this focusing mechanism for low pressure area to develop. So we have one in the Pacific, and then another area of potential development in the Atlantic Basin, specifically in the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Now, it does show 0% over the next two days, and then only 20% over the next five days. And uh, again, with this system being uh, tangled up over parts of Central America, and you can see that here in the visible satellite loop, it cuts through this region. A lot of heavy rainfall, a lot of deep tropical moisture down there. Uh, you can see just a little bit of cyclonic rotation with this system down south of the Gulf of Tehuantepec here. And then maybe some low pressure trying to develop somewhere off the northwest tip of the Yucatan Peninsula regardless of if anything, if anything develops that gets a name or whatever in the Atlantic Basin or the Southeast Pacific here. A lot of rainfall for this region and the potential of that moisture heading up into the Southeast United States Florida Panhandle area where you saw a lot of heavy rain in recent weeks that caused a lot of flooding uh, in some areas, uh, actually catastrophic flooding, so we don't need any more torrential rainfall. So this will be something to watch, not because of the potential, I don't think, for it to become a major wind event, but the impact would be rain and lots of it, and we want to make sure we focus on the impact and not whether or not it has a certain category associated with it. Um, it's impact that we're worried about, not categories, and whether or not it's going to affect you. So the GFS, Global Forecast System, one of the computer models, this is what it shows over the next several days, and this is the area that we're looking at down here near Central America, twin low pressure areas, one in the Southeast Pacific, the other here in the Gulf of Mexico. Pressure is fairly low, sub 1010 millibars. We're getting down 
1,007 and 1,005 millibars. And that just means that the surface pressures are lowering, and so we are trying to see a focusing mechanism take shape for something to develop. But even over the next five days, as you can see here, I will stop it at the last of the uh, animation loops here at the end of the five days. You can see that there's really nothing that comes from this, one more frame, over the next five days. It just kind of hangs out the low pressure trough over this general region. So we don't see the development of a strong tropical storm or a hurricane or anything like that to worry about, but the heavy rainfall could be an issue and needs to be taken seriously. All right, well, that's a look at the tropics for this first day of the hurricane season. So glad you can tune in and check things out on Hurricane Pro and HD. Again, I am Mark Suddeth for HurricaneTrack.com. That's my website. Check it out sometime. I will be with you all hurricane season long, working with Hurricane Pro and HD to bring you these video blogs on a weekly basis. And then when we have a developing threat for land, these video posts will go to daily to keep you up to date and uh, hopefully informed uh, on what to expect, especially when there is an impact headed your way. All right, we'll have a very safe hurricane season. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth. I'll talk to you again next week.